this functional vet. What I've done is I've put plaster of Paris up here to help stabilize this board and make it level for a compass prover. Across like this it's perfectly level. Across this way it is slightly out. We're on the money there. We're on the money right here. Alright, so I've got a it's out a little bit. So we have a nice flat surface and we can make a compass prover using this board. Now I'm using the top of this tree trunk because I tried to set it onto the ground and what ended up happening was I kept finding that the needle was being um, deflected. As I told you, the guy that owned this property before I got here used it as a trash dump and he dumped metal and all kinds of stuff all over the place. In fact, right at the base of the tripod, there's a piece of uh, concrete rebar, the type I have never bought in my entire life. But there it is. And there's some screen wire of some kind over here. And there's just, there's just metal everywhere. So I got up on top of this tree stump. The compass needles were not deflected. And so I'm confident that I can test a compass up on top of this and use this board as my compass prover. Now if you look at this compass you'll notice that we have a straight edge right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two little points there and then I'm going to draw a straight line in between them using a ruler. We're starting here with this one. This is the Brunton. This is the military lensthetic. And then this is the knockoff Brunton the M2, which got really good reviews on Amazon. So what we're going to do is we're going to prove the compass to see if it's accurate. The way this is done, I know that this compass is accurate for magnetic north. I know for a fact it is because I proved it when I was in Germany in 2020. And apart from bringing it out a couple of times, maybe six, it has not been used. So I know it's still accurate. It hasn't been knocked out. This one I would bet almost anything is accurate because apart from showing it off a few times and using it a few times for land survey, maybe 20 or 25 times, and it's not been rough handled, I would bet anything this thing is accurate. But we're going to find out. So let me show you how you create a compass prover. So what we want to do right now, we want to stick a dot here and a dot here. Move the compass. Draw a line. This is north. Magnetic north. And what we want to do is compare apples to apples. When we put this on the line You know, it would help if I'd actually turned it to north first. All right, there's north right there. We put this right here, and every time we put a compass against this line, it should line up exactly with north. At a military base, what they'll do is they'll take a piece of three-quarter inch plywood that's about a foot square, and they'll glue a piece of wood down on it using some kind of an epoxy or something, because you don't want any metal in it. And before you start a compass course, you take your compass, you slap it up against the side of that board, and you look to see if your compass points north. And if it does, then your compass is good. If it doesn't, then you take it back to uh, supply 
and get a compass that's reissued to you and you uh, come out and test it again. So let's see how the other two compasses do. All right. Remember, this is the Chinese M2 compass. We need to get this side perfectly alive. We need to get that out of my hand. And this shows to be, I'm going to say it's off by one half degree. So that's pretty good. Here is the Brunton, and I have set the deviation for the area that I'm at. I need to correct that to zero and then retest it. I use the term deviation when the correct term is declination, that it deviates from north, and according to this, assuming there's no metal around it, on the money. I'm reminded of something that supposedly Einstein said. He said a man with one watch is always sure of the time. A man with two watches never knows for sure. So the accuracy of the compasses, this one and the military were right on the money. The other one was out by half a degree. And I'm going to say that that half a degree could possibly uh, be caused by my shaking and or um, a couple other things. So I would say that that's a pretty darn good compass for 39 bucks. It compares with this one for accuracy and it um, compares with the military issue for accuracy. I think it's worth your time to uh, have one if you need a pocket transit and you don't have six or seven hundred dollars for this and you're not a professional. If you're a professional, go with a Brunton. If you're not, I think that's a pretty good purchase. Dysfunctional vet out.